In another video, I covered lambda scaling and throughput and talked about lambda concurrency. Concurrency is the number of requests that your function is serving at any given time. Think of it as simultaneous processing. When Lambda scales to handle additional concurrent requests, it provisions additional execution environments. There are some controls you can use to manage concurrency with some helpful use cases. You can use reserve concurrency to allocate a maximum concurrency limit for a given function. A maximum number of requests a function can run in parallel. Here I've set reserve concurrency to two. This does two things. It, in effect, protects and ensures that a function is always able to scale up to the reserved concurrency value. Other functions can't use this concurrency from the shared account pool. And it also acts as a limit on maximum function concurrency to protect downstream resources. If a database or external API can only handle 50 concurrent connections, you can ensure Lambda can't scale beyond 50 concurrent invokes and overwhelm the downstream service. You can also set the function concurrency to zero. This in effect stops any function invoked and acts as an off switch. This can be useful to stop Lambda processing when you have an issue downstream and can give you time to fix the issue before dialing Lambda up again. The other control is provision concurrency, which allows you to set the minimum number of available execution environments for a published function version. This in effect runs the cold start process in advance by pre-warming your functions. This is useful for mainly synchronous requests when you want to ensure you have enough Lambda environments ready to go before an anticipated traffic spike. Maybe a big sale at 8 a.m. or a TV show starting at 9 p.m. You can still burst using standard concurrency. There are two concurrency quotas to keep in mind. The burst concurrency quota gives you an initial burst of traffic for each function, between 500 and 3000 per minute depending on the region and then functions can still scale by 500 more instances each minute. There is also an account concurrency quota, which is the maximum concurrency which all functions share in an account in a particular region. This defaults at 1000 and can be easily raised even to hundreds of thousands.